Uh, I, I do want to ask you, what is the AI, what is the Artificial Intelligence Caucus? This is just something that I've never heard of before. Well, to some extent, if you go outside of government, you talk to people in business and the nonprofit sector, what they're obsessed with is how technological innovation is changing everything in our society, right. the future of work, our security risks, our demographics, everything. And we weren't having any conversations about it in the Congress, so I decided to found a caucus that was actually focused on trying to bring members of Congress up to speed about the most important trends in technological innovation and how they're going to unfold in our lives. Because how are we going to be policymakers if we don't understand these things? And I think we saw it a lot when Facebook was testifying in front of the U.S. Senate. There was clearly a lack of literacy around basic technology among the senators, which makes it really hard for us to do our job. So the point of the AI caucus is to try to raise the intelligence of members of Congress around. Can, can I just ask, are you somebody who believes in long a long-term mass structural unemployment as a result of mechanization, AI, machinery, essentially? Is that a major con I hear it's arguments on both sides. Yeah, it's a concern. If you look across history, innovation has always created more jobs than it's displaced. The problem is you see the jobs that get displaced, but it's hard to imagine the jobs that get created. So if history right. is Elon any Elon Musk, for example, in this case, says this time is different, right? Yeah, but he, you know, but again, he has no basis of, of that conclusion, really, right? Because history tells us that actually it works the other way. Now, that doesn't mean these things are positive for everyone, because what happens often is the jobs that get created are very different, and the people who can do them are very are different than the people who have lost their jobs. Right. So it plays out unevenly, that's, and that's one of the big problems. Well, and also if you look at the the top three most common jobs in the country right now are cashier, retail sales clerk, yes. and essentially fast food. Yes. Um, and if all three of those jobs are low paying, mm -hmm. number one, right. and all three of them are also in danger of being significantly automated right. out of existence. Sure, but let's look at the travel industry, for example. I mean, 20, 30 years ago, there were a lot of travel agents. You go into a travel agency, you'd pull a book off a shelf, you'd go through, the agent would like write paper slips, submit them, and it was a big job in this country. Those jobs norm largely went away because of technology, but the cost of travel went way down. More Americans travel, and the travel and leisure and hospitality industry generally has grown at, at a much faster rate than the shrinkage in the number of travel agents. So the number of people engaged in the travel and hospitality industry has gone up because of innovation, even though the jobs have changed.